In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Google Play Store transaction was declined error, which is this error over here, which simply says error, transaction was declined, and then in square brackets, OR, FGEMF 20. And the only option, and the only thing you can do is press got it. So in case you're getting this method, we're gonna fix it right now. The first thing you can try to do is checking your payment method and by that I mean that you have to make sure you have enough funds on your payment method which can be your credit or debit card or your PayPal or whatever you're using. Also, what's very important is that the payment method, so your card or PayPal, has to be valid. It can be blocked, locked, disabled, expired or anything like this because if it is, this error will likely occur, okay? so. If that didn't fix your issue, you can try removing and adding your payment method again, which means simply go into Google Play Store and inside payment methods, remove that payment method and add it again and try doing that thing again you were doing and hopefully this will fix your issue. So the third step is to use another payment method. So let's say you were using a credit card, you may try with your PayPal or with a debit card or something like this, or vice versa of course. So. The fourth thing you can do is to make sure that your billing address is correct, and by correct I mean that it matches the one of your card, PayPal or whatever payment method you are using. This is very important and could also be causing this error. Now the fifth way, what will likely help your issue, is to clear the Google Play cache. And the way you do this is to go into settings on your phone and then inside the apps and find the app list on your phone where there's all the apps located and then go to Google Play Store, so click on Google Play Store app, go inside storage, and then clear all cache and all data. After this, you may have to sign back into Google Play Store with your Google account, but don't worry, nothing will get deleted. And then lastly, if none of these worked, you can try contacting your bank and asking them if they had ever blocked any transactions in the past few hours or when you've done that, okay? And if they say yes, you can try talking it out and see why that did that. Now, you can also try contacting Google and Google support and they will likely be able to resolve your issue in case none of the methods I just told you about worked. So I hope this video helped you out and if it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.